Right, hello everyone. It's been a long time since I've done a pack opening video, and to be honest, I don't really like pack opening videos that much. But today I have quite a large uh, selection of cards which I have brought um, quite cheaply, I should add. Because um, this, uh, so basically here you get Duels Pack Collection box, and you get two Duels Revolution and stuff like Blast. This together, and I got three of these. I mean, I got one to begin with, and then I've there were two more left. Considering how cheap it was, I thought I might as well get the other two as well. Because basically, these together, and you get seven booster packs plus the four synchros, is £13.33, and that is probably just under ten US dollars, maybe a little bit less. Um, so I think that is really good value. And um, all of them come in the same cards. Um, well, with, I mean, not with the same cards, with the same packs, but yes, you get the same synchros. And... Um, also, I got Junk Gardener, Splendid Rose, just because it looks cool, and I got Reptilian Hydra. I know, I again, well, it does look cool, but maybe I might make a Reptilian deck, but probably not. I just happened to see it in the folder, and, well, um, I just thought I'd get it before someone else gets it, basically. And I suppose I did waste my money on that one, but... Oh well. And I have Generation 4 Special Edition. I mean, this was slightly cheaper, considering what you get in it. I mean, I, I'm i not doing it for the, either of these, because personally, I don't like either of those cards. I mean, I haven't got, I haven't got a deck that can use Sport, an Element Absolute Zero. Never thought I'd make an Element Hero deck. And actually, they made it easier for summon than they did in the uh, comic books of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because the other Element Heroes, uh, the are equivalent to uh, Absolute Zero, so Nova Master, The Shining, Gaia, etc. They only need... well... This Element Hero Absolute Zero needs a hero monster, so it can be Destiny Hero, Evil Hero, or Element Hero, but whereas the other ones can only use Element Hero plus another non-specific monster. So this is actually slightly easier to summon, and I think that is a bit biased. Again, I'd, I could go into a whole rant about Konami, but I won't, because this isn't the time and the place. Um, well, I think I'll start off by opening Generation Force because I'm hoping that if I get Steel Swarm Roach or Orient Dragon, then basically I've recouped most of my money. Um, and anyway, I think we should begin. I mean, you've seen the other synchros I brought. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think we should just move on to the actual packs now. Oh, I, for some reason, I have an obsession with opening, opening these neatly. Um, yeah, I should have I should have brought some scissors along, but oh well. Um, I think I, I might I might do that, but I've already opened this now, so um, and I get spore. Um, I have to say I actually prefer that over element hero because I don't know. Um, I'm probably more likely to use spore than I am element hero absolute zero. So yeah, uh, spore. Um, <clears throat> that would be uh, the first card. Um, I mean, obviously, um, if you want to read any of their effects, you know the names. So you just go on the Yu Gi Oh wiki, um, obviously. Uh, right. So, um, yeah. Generation Force. Um, again, I don't like to rip them apart like most people. Uh, Right, uh, Utopian Aura, uh, Martyr of the Flaming Dragon Swords, uh, <laughs> that was really weird, uh, Crush Bug Y, Injury Wind Up Key, Wind Up Magician, Laval Magma Cannoneer, Skull Kraken, Wind Up Dog, Element Hero Flash, and that's it, so nothing really decent in that one. Although I I haven't really had a chance to read the effects properly, but obviously, um, and hopefully, uh, like you, I uh, like I usually am. I oh, I've just watched that pack. Hopefully, I can get quite lucky. Um, yeah. Ugh. Right. Oh, crackling or cracking. Go 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 golem. Overwind. Gigiano. Uh, 
Sky Story. Ooh, yay! <laughs> Although I've already got the one in this rarity, which, uh, oh well. Um, yeah, that's probably going to go in my folder. I mean, I've never traded online before, but if, if there's something you are really desperately after, then obviously I might consider it. I mean, my wants, I mean, I pretty much get any card I want, basically, but there are a few cards I'm desperately after, like uh, if you've got Firewind Pegasus or Kane and the Swords Mistress, I just think they look really cool, and those are definitely cards I'm after, but uh, they're really expensive, so I probably never get them. Oh, a past image, and by the way, that was a uh, number 44 terabyte. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's basically paid for the Generation 4 pack, really. Um, Crash Bug X. Um, actually, the past times looks really cool. Um, uh, Pokey Draco and Back to Crackling. So that was a really, really good pack. Um, oh, and no, no, I've just bugged this one up as well. Uh, anyway. I wonder what's in this one. So, Topinora again. Posidian Waves. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right, but probably not. Then Rewind Up Key. Oh, Ghost Ship. I was after one of those. Um, wow! <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Super Submersible Carrier Aero Shark. Although I didn't get um, Orion Dragon or uh, Steel Swan Watch. That is still very good. Um, I might make a deck with that in, I don't know. And then past image again. Tyrant's uh, tummy ache. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably get tummy ache myself after eating all that. But uh, wind up dog again. Fishing kicks. And back to Tobinora. So that pack again was good. Um, now we're going to move on to the Star Strike Blast. Uh, I think you can get a bulb in this set. So if I get a bulb, then that would be brilliant. I mean, I, I, when I was walking home, I sort of regretted getting the Generation Force thing, but now I've now I've got those cards. I mean, that was that was just awesome. Uh, so, Scrap Crash, Necro Linker, Vice Berserker, Elf of Justice Crusher, and I think I've just seen a Synchro. Oh, Formula Synchro! I'm glad I didn't buy that one from the folder, because that I would have spent five pounds. Um, yeah, that was. Awesome, saved me a bit of money. Uh, Scrap Searcher, Needle Soldier, Gone Gearbox, Dark World Shackles, and now back to Scrap Crush Um Some of these cards will go into my folder, and I might do a video with my folder if I can be bothered. But ideally, I, I don't really want to trade, but as I said, there are a few cards I'm desperately after. But um, Anyway, uh, Necrolinker, Half Counter, What Adjustment, uh, Blackwing, SDN of Two Swords, Cookie Mirror Wall, Global! Yeah! I think that's worth about £20. <laughs> that is awesome. That um, That is going straight in my deck, that is not for trade. Uh, Scrap Blue, Exterior's Fang, Leodrex Main. Uh, yeah, that. Oh, I, I was really not expecting that. that uh, wow. So yeah, um... Oh! Uh, for some reason I'm obsessed with having these, like, all neat and tidy, but... Oh! Bloody hell, this thing is an Ah, oh, there we go. Um, <clears> hmm. <throat> I don't know why I have to open packs in a certain way, it's just me. So, uh, what dragonfly? Blackwing... Yes. Etsyan of Two Swords, Axe of Fools, uh, I'm going to check the effects later, uh, Nitria Stag Beetle, uh, Tushinoko of the Ghost Destroying, I know that's related to that uh, other card, the uh, Koyoku the something or other, that monster with 1800 which has something related to, I can't even remember, Barky on Spark, uh, Rescue Warrior, never seen that one before, Spinners Intersect, Scrap Searcher. Ah, uh, wow. Now we're going to go into the Duelist Revolution packs. Um, uh, uh, ooh, uh, 
Damage Eater. For some reason, every time I think of Level Eater, I think of Damage Eater instead. It's just, just the image I get in my head, but... Um, or is it Trap Eater? I, I don't know. No, it's definitely Damage Eater. And I've just... Just something random there. I know, very off topic. Anyway, Pestilence, Queen's Pawn, Blind Spot Strike. Uh, wait, this is only a rest. Um, Horn of the Phantom Beast. Uh, Amnesty Fighting Spirit, What Beta, Flamvel Fiend, Flamvel Pawn, and that Damage Eater. Uh, I'm gonna put it over there. <clears throat> uh, another Jewelist Revolution pack. The Jewelist Revolution was my favorite favorite set for a while because uh, no new Blackwing cards. Uh, and they got some new fusions that I really like, and the new Naturia support. Naturia uh, Forest, Lockcat, Beast Rage, Fenvel Archer, DD Unicorn Knight, Oh, Fabled Raven, wow. <laughs> As I said, I do tend to be quite lucky. Um, um, Mono Monoceros, uh, probably haven't pronounced that right. First Armaments, Ambulance Trainee, and back into Rift Forest. Right. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm not really sure what I want from Jaws Revolution. I mean, there's probably cards if I see them, I think, oh yes, I could use that. Um, maybe I can make a scrap deck. I don't know. Scrap Sheen, Melvin of Rift Forest, Scrap Rage, Anti Magic Prism. Hi, Hypno, Hypnocorn. Uh, interesting name. Uh, wait, that doesn't even look like corn, but whatever. Uh, Miracle Synchro Fusion. Flamvel Fiend again. Unicorn Familiar. And back to that. I th no. Yeah. Um, right. Next pack of Jewelist Revolution. Oh, I love the smell of new cards. Um, and I love rooting packs because I mean, it's just sort of an addiction really. Um, like some people are addicted to drugs and now I'm addicted to Yu-Gi-Oh really. Uh, <clears throat> Femfell Archer, Barrier Wave, uh, Final Psychic Ogre, Damage Eater, Avernus Village. Ooh, Scrapyard, that's quite rare. <laughs> wow, um, I'm really glad I brought this. Um, so I think I, assuming well, I think I've made a profit on this, but uh, what pheasant? Genix Power Planner, Howl of the Wind, no Howl of the Wild, and then back to Flamvel Archer. Um, penultimate pack of Jewelist Revolution. Hmm, uh, I wonder. Oh, I just messed that up. Oh, but I did see a synchro in there. Barrier Wave, Howl of the Wind, Lock Cat. Oh, I think it's an ultimate rare as well. Um, uh, Rhino Taurus, interesting name. Amazoness Willpower, and oh wow, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Lightning Tricorn. Uh, probably not going to be able to make use of that since I don't have a deck with beast types. But I uh, know I'd probably find something to do with it. Amazoness Trainee. Dash Warrior, What Cannon, and Black Barrier Wave. Final pack of Duelist Revolution. Um, uh, let's see. I uh, wonder if I get um, Fusion. Probably not. Um, Scrap Rage, Elephant, mm. uh, Stronghold Guardian, Battle Instinct, Egotistical Ape. Uh, Evanus Fighting Spirit, What Beta, Plumville Fiend, Plumville Pawn, and then back to Scrap Rage. Right, um, <clears throat> before I move on to these three, I'm going to just quickly get some scissors so I can open them neatly. Um, <clears throat> and now I'm back with some scissors. Uh, <clears throat> Right, this should be interesting. Um, so obviously I get the three synchros. Um, uh, I wonder how I'm going to go about this. 
Um, there's so many probably thinking, oh, you don't need scissors to open these. Why don't you just rip them open? But um, I don't. Know, I just prefer to have it done neatly. But that's just me. Um, oh, and that smells really nice. Um, and smell that. No, no, you can't. Uh, anyway. Uh, so yeah, four packs of Jewelers Pack you say, and obviously there's some cars. Um Yeah, I'm not bothered about that outer wrapper, but... <clears throat> mm. Oh, this isn't a proper bit anyway. Uh, Frozen Fitzgerald, if you don't know already. Underground Arachnid, probably I might make a spider deck, because I have most of the cards I need. Z-Man the Ape King and Under Eyes Dragon. Now obviously I won't go through those cards every time, but that's just that's just for the first one just so you know what is in there. Oh and I just opened that up. Um just wrong. Um anyway. Blind Spot Strike Second Booster. Um Oh I think I've just seen a synchro, another synchro, power frame, card breaker. A drill warrior, and then uh, strategy card number five, and obviously back to blind spot strike. Um, anyway, um, oh, I've just broken that. Um, anyway, um, so dash warrior, stronghold guardian, double cyclone, sonic duck, card of sacrifice. And strategy card number one. Right. <clears throat> ah, bugger. Uh, oh, these jewels packs are harder to open. Well, harder to open neatly because I've got less cards in. Um, damage Eater. Um, I don't really consider that a very good card. I mean, uh, well, a lot of the cards even by Underdog Bro standards, there, there's not really much potential with them. Um, but anyway, I won't go into detail and I won't name any names because obviously <clears throat> someone might have a go at me for saying all oh, this is rubbish. And then, of course, there's lots of strategies in Yu Gi Oh! In, in Pokemon, you're fixed to certain Pokemon and certain moves, but in Yu Gi Oh! there's thousands and thousands of cards. And anyway, I'm getting sidetracked again. So, Double Cyclone, Desperate Tag, Synchro Barrier. Starlight Road and strategy card number nine and now back to damage eater. Right. <clears throat> Final pack of you say Budo from the first one. Oh so I mean I cannot open these you say packs but neatly. Uh Stronghold Guardian or another synchro. Second booster, cards of conscience. Again I was thinking about getting that level as well for my Dragoonty deck, but Yay. Uh, Majestic Star Dragon. Now, according to my friends, this is easy to summon, but I don't really think it's worth summoning. And Big One Warrior. Um, I've come across that before, and I don't think it's worth this rarity that it's in. And uh, Strategy Card Number 4. Um, <clears throat> yeah, even though Big One Warrior is quite rare, I don't really consider it that brilliant. Um, there's normally rare cards, they're supposed to be good, but. I know, there's things you can do with Big One Warrior, like uh, Crusade Nova considered, it put in, considered putting it in his skull surface, but then he said, oh, I probably won't find room for it, because, um, oh, I just touched that up. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously, three syn well, four synchros, actually. Uh, yeah, most of these will be going into my folder. Um, uh, so yeah, um, um, <clears throat> so obviously same old, uh, well you know what they are, if you don't then you can look them up on the Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki art. Um, oh and I've actually opened this one nicely, uh, Alright, so Synchro Barrier, Sonic Chick, 
Another cards of conscience. Mm, that's going enough trade. Uh, blind spot strikes. Starlight road and strategy card number four. Mm -hmm. uh. Second booster. Mm, I wonder what happened to the first booster. But mm, anyway, uh, rubbish pun. Um, power frame, card breaker, sealed wing. Mm, nice. Uh, synchro gift. And uh, for some reason, I got a, a checklist rather than a strategy thing. But whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Actually, I don't think what is said about second booster is even a pun, but I don't know. It's not important. Um, ooh, so it's actually pretty hard just to slide them out. And then probably actually no, I haven't ruined the edges, but uh, stronghold guardian, double cyclone. Sonic Chick, Blind Spot Strike, Effect Veiler, uh, that's supposed to be quite good. Um, oh, it is Tuna as well. Um, and Strategy Card number 5. Um, wow. Um, I'm going to have to have a look at Effect Veiler after I've done this video. Because um, if it is as good as people say it is, and it probably is, um, then I might consider putting it in my deck. Um, uh, Desperate Tag. Um, one card which wasn't as good as I thought. Synchro Barrier, Dash Warrior, cards of card of sacrifice, and Boost Warrior. Oh, a nice, really rare one there. Uh, and strategy card number six. Uh, I haven't come across that one before. Oh, Chaos Goddess. Um, that's a card I probably want. Um, <laughs> so, Duelist final, Duelist pack collectors thing. Um. Um, and in regards to this video, I'm going to check the prices for terabyte and uh, bulb to see how much money I save myself. I mean, um, the terabyte I got off eBay was um, seven ninety nine pounds, and it was the same rarity. Um, and then the glow bulb was roughly about twenty pounds. Um, So again, obviously I get the, uh, the, the four synchros. Um, which um, obviously, just quickly show you, but you know already. Um, I think I might have to send a message to Crusade Nora about this, because um, he, he may or may not be jealous. I mean, uh, with um, all his other commitments, he's not into Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. But um, cards of conscience again, and my leg is going numb. Draw synchron, blind spot strike, variety comes out. Cards of sacrifice and strategy card number one. Mm. Okie dokie. So um, shield ring, sync for barrier, dash warrior. Sonic Chick, Battle Waltz, and another checklist. Um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I never use the checklists. I mean, I just consider them a waste of paper because if I wanted to have a checklist, I'd make it myself. And obviously, most people they wouldn't care about um, checklists. Um, when I think I see another synchro in here, so Power Frame, Card Breaker. Stronghold Guardian, Drill Warrior, mm, probably won't use it. And ooh, Bree Synchron. Nice. Um, for some reason that reminds me of Gundam. Yeah. Um, I don't know, perhaps it's more Transformers-esque. Um, but still, a very nice card. And um, I definitely want to fit that in somewhere because it's very cool. Um, yeah, uh, Strategy card 4. 
Right, finally, final pack of Joyce uh, pack. You say, Fudo. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, I mean, I've got a lot of good stuff already. Um, oh, and I've just botched that again. Oh, it's not really that important. They're gonna go in the bin anyway. Um, So, Synchro Barrier, Blind Spot Strike, Second Booster, Damage Eater, Starlight Road, and Strategy Card number 9. Uh, right. I mean, obviously, most of you won't care about the strategy cards. Um, and now I've got to clean up all this mess uh, which I've made. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's behind the, the computer so you can't see it, but, um, but anyway, uh, so hopefully, um, in a couple of weeks time, I will have, well, I really only need two for myself because I really want to start Dark World deck, but I'm going to be getting uh, at least a couple Dark World decks, and then, in November, I'm going to be getting Photon Shockwave box, hopefully, because there's a lot of stuff I want in there. And I really cannot wait for the set to come out. And then in December, I may or may not get a Hidden Hostel 5 box. But I think I'd rather get an Xbox. But then again, I really like the Gem Knights. So possibly, I, I don't know, they'd have to see. I mean, I really need to <coughs> rein in my spending because as you've seen, um, there's a lot of cards here. But as you've also seen... Um, some of these are worth a lot of money, especially the glow up bowl, because uh, a lot of people are after that. So, um, as soon as I end this video, I'm going to have a look at the prices for that. Um, so, um, I guess I will see you later. And um, a new Pokemon video, hopefully, tomorrow, if I can be bothered. But I'm going to be working on my fanfiction. But it depends. It depends. I've also got a little bit of college work. So, if I'm in the mood, then yes, there will be any battle. And, uh, I'll see you guys later.